Hello, in this video, I will show you how to enable accruals. So in order to enable accruals, we need to create a dedicated bonus type for accruals. So let's go to bonus types and add a new one. Let's call it loyalty LCCR. If all the setup, which is default, to focus only on accruals, we need to provide a bonus posting group, which is something that you need to create. So please create a new posting group with GL cost account number and the GL accrual account number field in. If you intend to post accruals to inventory, please provide also accrual charge item value because this charge item is used to adjust item ledger. Okay, let's enable the accruals on bonus type. I will post accruals also to inventory. The settlement will be usual and we are ready to create bonus cards. So let's create a new one. Select the new bonus type. The sell to customer, I will use 1,000, 20,000. Bonus will be valid in our work date and it will be valid for all items. And we will give 5%. Next step is releasing the bonus. All right. Since there are no transactions, we need to create a new posting in the application. So let's do it. Let's go to sales orders. Add a new one. Our customer 20,000 posting date. is the April and the item number. So let's take some item, quantity is one, and let's post. Okay, we've got and we've posted. However, we will review the bonus card. So bonus entry was created and what's important, all the calculated fields linking to detailed bonus entries are now filled in. And if we go directly to the details, we see that apart from an, in an initial entry, there are two other detailed entries which represent accruals. So we have information that an accrual was created and it was updated with the posted amount and accrual entry number, which we can navigate to. So as we can see, general ledger now contain the accrual for our bonus. Okay, and there is one more important thing regarding the accruals. When we decide to close the bonus and settle it, the accruals will be reversed because it is the settlement document that will 
register the fact that some payment was made. So let's close the bonus and create a settlement document. Closing date, if it's le left blank, this is current work date, which is used. Okay. The credit memo was created. I don't want to open it. And now I see my bonus on closed bonuses list. So what is important when I navigate to bonus entries again and review the calculated fields, they are zeros. Their balance is zero because the accruals were reversed, which we have the information of in the detailed bonus entries. So first two entries for accruals were positive and the GL accrual and inventory accrual added when the bonus was closed were the exact opposite of, of the accruals posted. So here is the full process. And if the bonus is finished with, the last step is archiving the bonus. So the bonus is no longer on open, released, nor closed bonuses. It's in the archive. Thank you for your attention.